Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, August 24th. And we are on our way, but not to San Jose. We're on our way to our Weight Watcher meeting <clears throat> where I am hoping for a pound. I, um, I usually don't follow up a, a good week with a loss the following week. It's just been my modus operata or operation or whatever. It's just been the way I've been doing it lately and that's not the way I want to do it anymore. So I had a good loss last week and uh, let's just follow it up with a loss this week. I'm hoping to be into the 20s but I'm not overly optimistic about it. But Oh my gosh, they're throwing all these bikes away? Those are nice looking bikes. I might go pick them up and sell them at a garage sale. <laughs> but anyway, um, we do have a birthday. Today is Carmen K. No, not Carmen. Karen. <clears throat> Karen K. Today's your birthday. You knew that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Karen. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay, I'm going to stop at the stop sign because i got to stop anyhow. <clears throat> but Ken and Sandy Riley wanted to know about my book. They said I showed it too fast. It's Nora Roberts' Undercurrents. Let me show you. And I didn't finish it last night because um, I just started hanging out with Alyssa. And, uh, and so I didn't, uh, I didn't read. But I'll probably finish it today. I don't have much to do today. I'll do my... Um, meeting highlight video and um, just you know continue on with my daily vlog and see how it goes. Anita, Anita, Anita. Because she put Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. I promise you that next summer you will see me enclose that fit. It's too, in, it's not almost maybe three more weeks if I'm lucky. I'll be wearing shorts and then I'll be back into the long pants because it's going to start getting cooler here and I'll be wearing sweaters and jackets and I just can't see going and spending all of that money for a new summer wardrobe when next year I'm going to go buy a whole new summer wardrobe because I'm not going to be farting around this summer, this year. I'm going to be not maintaining from year to year. I'm still shooting to get down to the 77 pound loss by I was hoping by next Saturday. <clears throat> I don't know if that's possible, but at least by my birthday, which is in a couple weeks. So that's that's what I want to have happen. But Carmen Tado, T-A-D-E-O, um, I tried to respond to you on the, my video yesterday, but you must have your uh, comments disabled because every time I would do it, it wouldn't go through. Uh, everyone else's, uh, when I answered their comments, would go through, but yours wouldn't. So I didn't want you to think I was ignoring you. Uh, I tried more than once. I even closed out my computer and rebooted it and tried it, and it still didn't work. But anyway, uh, Lainey's not been around because her husband, um, Sully, has been ill, and he's in the hospital. And so, you know, obviously she's spending more time with him in the hospital. And uh, I, think, I think I saw, before I went to bed, I think I saw that she posted a video last night. So I'm, I'm sure she probably explains it in her video what's going on. So you might want to go over and check her channel out now. Um, Marlene Johnson had asked me about um, if I really feel this is a true weight loss when I don't eat like I like I eat like I eat on Saturday uh, Fridays. <clears throat> I do feel it's a true weight loss because if I eat that way consistently every week, then yeah, I do think it's a true weight loss. Um, the reason I eat so lightly on a Friday, <coughs> excuse me, really has nothing to do with the fact that I weigh in on Saturday. That just happens to be a coincidence. Because um, I, I've said this before, I never realized that my family was poor. Um, we didn't eat any dinner on Wednesdays because that was my father's payday till my mother got back from the grocery store. And then we always ate during the week very cheaply. I mean, it was, I mean, we ate healthy, but, you know, we just, uh, we didn't have all of the 
chips and cookies and cakes. We had cake on our birthday. That was it. Cake and ice cream on our birthday. That was about the only time we had cake and ice cream. Um, Sundays was a chicken dinner. And I guess chicken must have been expensive because uh, that was like a treat to have a chicken dinner on a Sunday. But anyway, um, and I was raised Catholic. And as a Catholic, I was when I grew up, um, you only had uh, you didn't have meat on Fridays. So we used to have like a tuna casserole or salmon patties or like breakfast for dinner or something like that. You know, just something really cheap. And then we were always told that we were supposed to um, fast, you know, give the day, give the Lord one day that you're not going to like indulge in food. So on Fridays, we always ate very, very lightly. And maybe that was just my mother's way of saving money for food, for the chicken on Sunday. Yeah, you know, I never thought of that. That's probably what it was. The food we would have had on Friday, we had for our Sunday dinner. Because we always had a really good Sunday dinner. But, um, but so I've always, I've always been used to on Fridays eating very lightly. Um, Denise would have no memory of that because she's 10 years younger than me. And by then my father had a better job. Uh, he stopped having children. <laughs> He stopped having to, cause my, they didn't have any insurance, so every time they had a kid, they had to pay for the kid, you know. So, um, it just, and my mother started working, and so it was just a lot of different things that, you know, kind of played into it. But I always had that mindset that Fridays was a day that you just kind of sacrificed for the Lord, because He gave you so much. And, and I've just done that my whole life. I did that with my own kids. Uh, on Fridays, we ate very lightly. Uh, I kind of made up for it on Saturday mornings when they were little because uh, on Saturday mornings when they got up, they got to pick whatever breakfast they wanted. And whatever they wanted, I made. So like one person could pick French toast, one person could pick pancakes, one person could have picked bacon and eggs, whatever they picked. And they could always have a friend over on Saturday morning too for breakfast. So I, I kind of felt that I did kind of make up for it. I don't think they ever really realized that we ate that way on a Friday. If they did, they never pointed it out to me. So it's just, and I know that, you know, we don't have to, we can still, we can eat meat on Fridays now, but I, I just don't eat meat on Fridays. I just, uh, it's a small sacrifice. Um, I'm not a big fan of fish, so, you know, like you can say, oh, well, you, at least you like fish. You know, I like fish and chips, which is like 50 points. So uh, I'm not really sacrificing that way. I have tried making my own cod, baking it, and broiling it and all that. It just, it's not the same. It's just not the same. So, um, but anyway, a long, long-winded answer to your question is, um, yeah, I still feel it's a true weight loss, and, and I just eat that way, I've eaten that way for 60-some years, you know. That's just, that's just who I am, and that's who I'm always going to be until the day I die. I'm just going to always... I'm just going to always eat like that. So, um, yeah. anyway. Oh, and uh, cat, cat on point. Uh, yes, I do remember um, Wolfman Jack. I just remember. I forgot all about him. But he was like the forbidden disc jockey because he was so wild. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull up there. I like that spot better over here. This is where I usually park. So I'm going to park where I usually park. And um, Dana Garza wanted to know what an upper flat is. Uh, an upper flat, I'm sure they're everywhere, but an upper flat is like a small apartment, I guess. It's, it's like, usually looks exactly like the one on the first floor. It's just like, a, it's a living, it's a house. It's like a duplex or, you know, in Canada, I don't know what you call them in Canada, when you only have half the house. But instead of having the half on the, on the same floor, it's above. And my landlord lived below me, who was a very, very nice lady. She was very, very nice. And especially when Jimmy was born and Jimmy was loud. She never complained. Never, not one time did she ever complain about Jimmy. So, all right, let's go in and hope for a loss. I'll see you guys when I get out. Well, I had at least my pound. Yay! I lost 1.5. So my total weight today was 231.8. I lost 72.4 total. So the brat has officially beat me to the 20s. I concede because I told her she weighs in earlier than me. But I concede that you made it into the 20s, but I'm going to get into the teens before you. So I have a total loss of 72.4. So now I'm catching up with Sue over at Sue Slim's Town. 
and um, I'm just going to stay on track this week. I'm very happy with the 1.5. I really am because, uh, like I said, I'm not uh, one to consistently lose each week. I've shown you that for the last bit, <laughs> so the last year or so. So I uh, have every intention of um, staying on track now and getting back to losing weight and beating the brat into the te into the teens. So um, let's just have a healthy day today. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna eat breakfast. We're gonna have some toast and uh, banana and eggs and some fruit. Start my day with a prayer. I only drank 20 ounces of water so far. I gotta drink some more. My quote is, if you believe you can do it, you will. If you believe you can't, you won't. Uh, it's eight point breakfast, five points are my two slices of cinnamon toast and three points for a tablespoon of whipped butter. Zero for my egg, berries, banana, tea, and water. So I have 15 points left for the rest of my day. I gotta get on here. We are in Jim's happy place. Where are we at, Jim? Cabela's. Cabela's. It's way too close to our house. Yes, I would agree with that. It was it used to be farther away, and we didn't come as often. Uh-oh, he spotted something. We're looking for a... Uh, gun rest. A gun rest. He had one. He just brought it back. He didn't like it. Okay. We'll see if we see anything. Okay, we're back from... Um, Cabela's, that's where we were at. I was trying to think where we were at. Jim did find his, he had a, I don't know, some kind of thing where you put the gun on when you're shooting and it steadies it. I don't know. I don't know anything about guns. But um, I've never held a gun. I've never shot a gun. I have never want to be around a gun. But Jim's a gun lover, so um, we have guns. But they're, they're locked up very tightly, especially with grandkids in the house. You have to go through a locked room to a locked case to a locked locker, to the lock that's on the actual fire um, firearm. So we're very safe with our weapons, at least. And then um, we did go to Big Boy's for dinner. I had a Big Boy and a fry and a Coke and a cup of broccoli soup. It was very good. I have my points for Thursday, Saturday. I, I do kind of go crazy on Saturdays. Makes up for not eating on Fridays, I guess. I don't know. But uh, um, I have a plan for tomorrow and the rest of the week, and I did do um, a menu for the week. So I'm going to live up to my menu plan that I have made for the week. Thank you, Joan, over at Joan's Pointed Plate. She sent me some menus, and I thought the week I did do that, I did really well. So I'm going to um, follow my menu for the week. And then um, just stay on track for the week because I, I don't know. I just have to... Uh, um, stay on track because I gotta beat I gotta beat both Sue and Angela. I got her Ange. I gotta I got see. I'm so used to calling her the brat now. I keep forgetting what her name is. I just call her the brat. But I say it with love. I just say it with love. I just um, and she seems to take to the to the name. She doesn't seem to be offended by it. If she is, I'm so sorry if she is. But I don't think she is. I think she likes it. I think that she's just that type of person that just. <laughs> She, I love her. I love her to death. But um, but I'm still going to beat her. I'm still going to beat her. Don't think, just because you're a fancy schmancy beautician, that you can do stuff. Can you do something with my hair? What should I do with my hair, Angela? Ange. I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? I'm not going to dye it. I tried to color it for Michael, my uh, cousin's boy. I tried to do it green, and it, it didn't. My hair is so gray, it just doesn't take to it. So... Okay, I'm um, just babbling now. I'm in a silly mood. I don't know. I'm just in a silly. Maybe it was that Coke. It got me giddy. <laughs> Alyssa's coming over tonight um, just for a little while. A couple hours while her mom's working. Uh, her mom takes care of a handicapped uh, boy while the parents go out to have some time away. You know, like to just go out on a date. And Alyssa didn't want to stay home alone, so I said she could stay here. So... But once again, she won't be on camera because she's camera shot. I'll have to sneak her on. So, okay, I'll see you guys um, tomorrow because I think we got a birthday.